Hi there. Welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name's Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be showing you some things you can do with depth textures inside of cables. Okay, let's get started. First, gonna make a main loop. And then gonna connect this to a sequence op. I'm now going to make a transform. This, I'm going to connect to a matcap material new. And I'm going to make a random cluster up because I want to have a lot of shapes on the screen. And I'm going to make a sphere mesh. And now we're going to add a texture up to the matcap input. So I go to texture, click file browse, go to the library, and we're going to go down to the matcap section. And I'm looking for a particular one today, this one. Okay. Now, if you've seen the previous tutorial with basic post effects, some of this will be familiar to you. So I want to render this to a texture. So I make a render to texture op. I'm going to make a full screen rectangle. And just to test everything's working, I'll plug the texture output from render to texture into the full screen rectangle. A little bit jaggy. Click render to texture, turn MSAA on full. Okay, so um, what I want to do is I want to show you today how we can use the depth texture focus up, one of my new favorite ops. So we need to make a image composite layer. So I'm going to get the image compose up, and then I'm going to get the depth texture focus up. Now, if we look here in render to texture, we see we have the texture out and the texture depth out. So I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to get the texture depth and I'm going to put it out here into depth texture focus and the output of image compose to full screen rectangle. Now, I don't see anything right now. Um, so let's play around. Here we go. So this is the center, like where we're focusing. And this is the width. So if I put the width really narrow, Look really small. You see that I can now kind of like scroll through. What's that? Now I want to just have like more forms. So I'm going to put it on like 400. And then we're going to move this up again. Whoops, I think I've got a shape in front of the camera. Yes, I do. Okay, there we go. And let's increase the size, just get a little bit more space. So if you didn't see what was happening there, one of the spheres was in front of the camera, which was blocking it. Now, as you can see, I can get this really cool effect here by just doing this. So new favorite of mine. So what I want to do is I want to animate this. So I'm going to look at this and I'm just going to remember like the minimum values. This is like 0 0.04 to 0.266. So I'm going to make a sign anim up and then I'm going to put it into a map range so this will output a number from minus one to one and this will remap the range so I'll put old minimum on minus one and new minimum on 0 0.04 this on 0 0.26 sign anim needs to be executed so I grab a trigger and I'm going to plug this into center. And as you can now see, we get this really nice basic animation effect. I want it to go a little bit further away. So I'll put it on 0 0.3, bit too far, 0 0.28. Awesome. So um, as you can see, you can get a really nice effect with this. Um, I could go in here now and do some more post-processing, like the good old blur. Um, so now I want to composite this back into the original image. This was already covered in a previous tutorial. But I need to make another image compose. Get a draw image. And now I'm going to get the original output and plug this in here. And I'm going to disconnect this one 
and get this one back there. So now I have the original. And I'll make another draw image up. And with this, I'm now going to put in the depth texture focus. As you can see, it's overri uh, overridden the original uh, layer because we're using normal. I'm now going to put it on add. And as you can see, we now have this glowing effect, which looks pretty cool if I might say so. Um, now we want to animate it a little bit. So let's actually use the transform here. I'm going to just get a timer to which just keeps on counting. Uh, I'm going to add this to rotation X. I'm going to add it to rotation Y. And I'm going to put the speed up to 5 so we get some motion. Now, you could go a lot further with this and enhance it in any way that you see fit. Uh, for example, I could make only the outline of the spheres uh, glow by putting an edge detection in there. Uh, and then we can turn the blur off. And as you can see, we now get this nice white outline around the spheres. So this was just one of the many ways that you can use the depth uh, texture focus up to start to enhance your existing um, pipelines. So this was a quick one, but it was just something that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, please feel free to post it in the forums or to place it underneath the video below. Thanks for your time. Happy patching.